If you guys were early on Frentech and bought a couple of the shares in the early days, like we're talking maybe a month ago, you could be up hundreds to even thousands of X's. If you take a look at the chart for Zero X Racer, the original starting price of his share or his key was 0 0.00005. And it's now trading at over 6 ETH. It's actually at 7.35 ETH. And that's not the only share. You could have even taken a look at Haska Trades. It also has a chart that looks similar. It's trading around 5.46 ETH. And you can also look at 0x Captain Levy. He also came from the same place, like at zero, and is trading at over 5.23 ETH. Now sure, if you want to FOMO and go into things that have already pumped hundreds to even thousands of Xs, by all means, go for it. Or you can look at some other plays and altcoins that benefit from the Frentech meta. These are going to be ones that are building directly on Frentech or ones that are creating a better alternative to Frentech. I'll go through all that and more in this video. And there's one project in particular that looks like it's the early days of Frentech. So if you missed out on the early days of Frentech, you may not want to miss this. Before we get into that project that I'm looking at, here are some of the Frentech meta tokens in particular that some people have their eyes on. One of them is friend pet. Basically this is you have your own pet. It's like a Tamagotchi pet, yada, yada, yada. And you need friend pet tokens in order to feed it. If you don't feed it, the thing dies and you have to have friend pet in order to buy a new pet. So it's just like a little Tamagotchi Ponzi type of thing. Then you also have perps. So perps is a GMX fork that is built using the friend tech token. So basically you can trade with leverage similar to GMX but you're able to trade instead of Bitcoin and ETH, you're able to trade different keys on Frentech. Now, I don't know where the targets are on this. I'm not playing this one. I've seen a lot of people talking about it on Twitter, but in my opinion, it's a 2.3 mil market cap. I don't know exactly what the utility of the token is. It's probably gonna be similar to how GMX is, but as always, time will tell. We'll see what happens with it. Then you also have another one that literally has no product which is DGEN. They say there's product coming next week. It may or may not, but it's a low market cap play. It's a $124,000 cap. I mean, what, what can you do? Then you also have ones that are bots. They basically snipe different friend shares as they come on the market. And any of the profits that they get, they share with the FTF token holders. This is friend tech farm. So it's basically just kind of like a bot token. And keep in mind, these tokens I'm talking about, some of them do have taxes like a 5% buy and a 5% sell tax, which is kind of nuts and ham. Then you have MEF. This is basically a Unibot fork, but it's called FriendBot. So instead it's for the friends, but on Telegram and so on. So it, it's just one of the other forks. The game I want to talk about is Friend Room. And as you can see here, this is kind of the world map of Friend Room. Before I get into the nitty gritty and all the details on how this game is played, here are some tunes so you can jam out. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and cover this tweet that I made and then go into more details on friend room. But in my opinion, I like the risk to reward. It's a high risk, high reward play that is degen. It could go to zero or make multiple X's. So what is friend room? Well, the best way to think of friend room is like friend tech, but with more features and a game fi twist. And you are able to speculate on these different lands and you can farm and earn a yield and the friend token. So basically it's friend tech, but with dividends. Now land is the scarce asset. As I showed you on this map, you have 196 countries. This is a map of the world. If you guys never took chemistry class, it's okay. This is a map of the world. There's 196 countries. There's 10 rooms for each country. So the United States has 10 rooms, China has 10 rooms and so on. So the cost to build each room is going to vary based on GDP rankings. So the more valuable countries or the ones with a higher GDP, like the US and China is gonna set you back like 1.96 to like 1.9 ETH. Whereas the lower GDP countries are going to cost significantly less. Some as low as 0.01 ETH, which is like 20 bucks. And to put it into perspective for the US, that's like $36,000. When you join this game, you do have to get a invite. Now, if you're trying to get invites, I'll explain that later in this video, how to get it. But there is one Twitter thread that you kind of want to check out. 
and follow. It's on Friend Room. Basically, this is their Twitter. Just look and search on Twitter to see if you can get some invite codes. I am all out. They're all used up. They go extremely fast, but if you grab one, you can join and check out the vibes and you can even chat in the global chat room. And the global chat room actually looks like this. You just click on this message board. You can actually go straight to the my chat and this will be like an expanded screen. Whoa, dude, I'm on the world. I'm on, I'm on Canada right now. But anyways, anyone can type in this message group. Like this is between everyone on friend room and you can message back and forth here. And then you can also go to someone's personal room. Like for example, this is going to be my room and you can access my own chat. I own this room, this is called the promise land. But if you want to join in, you can access into the private chat. And this is what my room looks like. I have complimentary toast guys. So if you guys want some toast, it's down over here. Oh, what the snap? What happened? There's my toaster. Um, so if you guys want complimentary toast, enjoy. And yes, there is a private chat there. So you simply have the option to buy land and create it and pay a larger upfront cost. Or you can say, hey, bro, I'm just going to go ahead and speculate on some of the shares and invest in others. You will get 50% of the dividends. So let me show you some of the different investments. Let me click on, I'll click on some random guy just for example. So as you can see here on Max Citadel, he's currently trading around 0.4 ETH. So it's 0.38. If you go in and explore his room, you just click on his profile in the corner. It's this little, wait, it's reversed. Wow, um, let me just drag my face. It's this icon over here. So this face right there. We're gonna go ahead and click this. This will give this pop-up that we see here. And you can see here, oh, what the snap. You can see here he has 39 holders. He has 94 shares issued. And the trading fees he has earned is 1.4 ETH. Now, this is where the sauce comes in where it's different from Frentech. Anyone holding some of these shares are able to get a proportional share of the Friend token he earns. This is the current price of Friend right now. It's trading around 0. $0.0006 dollars. Like it's, it's worth fractions of a penny. Now that doesn't mean you won't earn anything. You can see here this land that he owns has earned 2.78 million friend. And the dividend rate is 50%. So this is actually distributed 50% to all of his holders. So let me give you an example of what my investment looks like. I bought one of the shares just to see how this looks and I tested it over 24 hours. Now the cost of my room is less than 0.01 ETH. So it's gonna set you back like $20. It's literally nothing. So if you jump over here to see my shares and my portfolio value, my portfolio value is around $29. In a matter of 24 hours, I've earned 24 cents. The distribution times happen at seven UTC every single 24 hours. So at this rate, I would basically be able to get a return on my investment, which is the actual shares that I bought, my room shares, I'll get that back in less than 60 days. Now, this isn't even factoring in the cost that I still own this share. So just like on Frentech, you are buying that Frentech token. The only way you can realize the profit or realize the gains is by selling it. Whereas with friend room, you can simply hold the room. If it goes up in value, well, consider it like real estate. The house is going up in price and you're also earning rental payments or dividends in the form of friend token. So think of it like a rental home that is bringing in income. But yet in the future, if you wanted to sell it, you can still sell the house. Whereas with friend tech, you simply just own the house and you have no rental income from it. So let's summarize where we're at so far. First, you can buy any of the lands that you want as long as they are still available. Real estate on these maps or the rooms on these maps are a scarce asset. There are only 10 rooms for every country. There are only 196 countries. So that means there are only going to be almost 2000 rooms. So 1960 rooms that will be available. Now, if you don't want to shell out the upfront capital to deploy and build a room, you can simply speculate on different rooms that you see trading in the investment sphere. Holding some of these will allow you to earn the friend token. This friend token can be sold, it can be held, you do whatever you want with it. Me personally, I don't recommend buying the friend token 
because it's a farming coin, but they are going to create utilities for it, like a casino, a tipping coin. This can be used to generate invite codes. So as long as there's liquidity coming into friend room, I see the friend token as doing extremely well. And lastly, if you created the room, you get the trading fees from the room as people trade it. And if you own that room, you get 50% of the dividends paid in the friend token. Now, if you only own the room, you don't get the trading fees from it. You only get the 50% revenue share split paid in friend token that the room earns. So here's a video you guys can watch to make this land. Welcome to Friend Room, a Web3 Wonderland. Dive into the world of Friend Room, where you can craft your very own 3D spaces. Embrace endless possibilities with user-designed rooms. Let's start with sign in and create your room. First, bind your Google account. You will need an invite code to create your friend room account and also bind your Twitter account here. After completing the creation, you will get three invitation codes that you can share with your friends. Then, let's start creating the room. First, choose the address of the room. The price of the room in each country is proportional to the GDP. Enter the name and description of the room and click Create to complete the purchase. Now you can start decorating your room. So you bought a room on some land or you own some of these different rooms. What in the world is this friend token used for? Well, friend is going to have several different utilities. One is going to be used to trade with RWAs like stocks, gold, currencies. Second is for friend room mini games. So if a game is created inside one of these rooms, you're going to need the friend token as currency in order to play that game. Third, it's going to be used for tipping on Twitter. Fourth, it can be used in a casino, kind of like the GambleFi narrative. Fifth, it's for real estate marketplace, so trading these different rooms on a marketplace. And lastly, um, they made mention of World War. There's going to be details on this soon, but I'm thinking like a game of Catan. If you haven't played Catan before, think of it like a game of Risk, where these different countries have to trade and they trade for different resources using the friend token as currency and trying to dominate other rooms. But as always, time will tell. Uh, that's kind of me speculating. So how is this different from friend tech? Well, think of friend tech, but with many more buttons you can play with and more strategy you can play around with. So instead of just speculating on one of these random anons or, or one of the creators on Twitter, just to be able to get in a private chat with him to say, GM, GM, sir, and then have them say GM back, Instead, you can actually speculate on this land and still be a part of that private chat group. And you can also be in their private chat room. So you join in the room, you can check out the room, check out their space, etc. And you can also earn a dividend from earning one of these rooms. So instead of the content creator or the creator of that land or the creator of that friend tech key, you are actually able to share some of that yield. Just imagine like uh, Ansem or like Hoska or Kobe, how they earn like 44, 50 ETH off of people trading their different keys. You can now earn that as a speculator. So buying this piece of land or this room and just holding it, you can earn the friend token. And if the room appreciates in price and you got in early, well, you have the price appreciation from the room and you're also earning in the friend token. Now, before we go into some of the risks that I see with this project is you can scroll around, take a look at the map and you can speculate on where you want to be. These different like plus 36, that means there's that many shareholders. And just based on that, you can tell if the room is popping off. You can click to see more details or you can scroll based on the map. So if you're the type of guy who's, or girl, who, if there's any girls in crypto, <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's plenty. Um, we just don't see them. Uh, you can click on any of these little lands in these maps. Here's an example of the GM Temple Room. This thing is trading like, I don't know, five bucks. In order to get into this room, you will earn 50% of the dividends. But do keep in mind, just because it's a cheap, entry price doesn't mean it's like the best place to go this may get 
no shares in the friend. So you want to explore the room and see the details on it. Like if you're just coming in here to earn a yield paid in the friend token, probably want to look for and aim for like a median price room. That way it pays well in friend, but it's also not too expensive towards like what the snap. I just paid this much for a NFT. And you can go into the profile and see how much they're earning. Like you can see here, this room has earned 1,433 friend. And I don't know how many days this guy has been around, but let's say he's been around for three, four days. I would have to check the blockchain history to see how long he's been around. But just based on the amount of friend he, that he earned, in 24 hours, my room, because it did cost more than the Santome and Principal, this one's like 0.02 ETH to create. Mine was a little over 0.1. I've earned more friend in him in less time. It's because the GDP of my country is more, so it technically is going to be paying more in the friend token. But it also costs more to create that. Now, to buy the shares, it may or may not be. It's a similar bonding curve, but if you can get it at a lower price, it's all a math equation. You want to go ahead and look for the rooms that are trading at a low price but have a high GDP. So if you can get some like the rooms in the U.S., for under 0.05 ETH, well, those things are gonna pay you nuts and ham in the friend token. Now, if you're buying San Tome and Principal, uh, or Prince P, I don't even know what country this is, friend token that you're going to be earning is peanuts. And this is on Ethereum network, so you have to factor in the gas fees. Is it worth buying a share like this? That's a decision that you have to make. Now, obviously, if this game gets bigger, then eventually this will be worth something, and it could be like, Today's prices are going to be a steal compared to what they are in the future. As always, time will tell. One of the biggest things and the biggest factors you have to look at is like Friend Tech has over 20 mil in TVL, whereas Friend Room has like $29,000. Guys, this is a DGEN play. Like seriously, it's a high risk, high reward play. It may or may not do something. And now with that caveat, let's go ahead and talk about some of the risks. The very first thing I want to talk about is a potential rug pull. Yes, could it rug? Well, possibly. Now, the good news is, is that the liquidity is locked. So the liquidity that is in the LP pool is at least locked until February, 2024. So basically you have 165 days and you can still at least sell if you have some of the friend token, if you're buying this. Now, I'm not recommending anyone buy this, especially since it's a farming coin but that is something you can factor in. Now, the second thing you want to factor in is whales dumping. Yes, this is a chance with every single project. In fact, I'm not telling anyone to go buy the friend token. I think the best strategy, if you are willing to stomach a loss because it's a degen play, is to either buy some of the land, creating your own and allowing other people to trade on it, or buy some of the low price rooms and literally just hold it and get the friend dividends and sell them. Now, keep in mind, there's a possibility that it's a rug pull or it goes to zero or the team just says, hey, we're not working on this project anymore. That is something you have to factor in. This is the early days. This thing was literally created like a week ago. So keep that in mind. It's a low market cap, high risk, high reward play. It's in the team's best interest to keep the game going because they're getting 50% of that 10% buy sell tax. So every time someone buys one of these rooms, 10% is tax. So 10% buy, 10% sell, the team is getting 50% of that. So they're technically getting 5% off the buy and 5% off the sell. They're using some of the fees that they are earning to buy back the friend token in order to create this flywheel because people are buying these different rooms in order to earn the friend token. So if friend price token goes up, that means room prices can go up because in theory, the rooms can earn a higher yield because the friend token is higher in price. So that's something to keep in mind. It's in the team's incentive to keep the game going. Lastly, the friend token price dumps. Again, this is always a possibility. Whales dumping it. 
it's basically the heart of the game so the team wants to support it and i mean if friend ends up being worth zero well there goes the game and the team can't earn from the different trading fees that are generated from people buying and selling the different rooms so again i want to summarize this game yes there are risks involved it is degen it is high risk it's a high reward play but you can think of friend room like friend tech but more features more gamification and more strategy Let's talk about some of those strategies before we close this video. The very first strategy is to simply buy these rooms and sell them at a higher price. This is what most people did on FriendTech. Second is create rooms and profit from the trading fees as well as the revenue share from the friend token. Third is simply to hold shares in rooms to earn dividends. This, the dividends are paid in the friend token and fourth is if you want to take a more passive approach, which is still kind of like speculation, is simply hold the farming coin called friend. And speculate the growth will be faster than the inflation. This token is being inflated, but it is a controlled inflation. It's based on the number of rooms that are out there. So something to keep in mind. Now, if you guys want to try out friend room and join the promised land and earn some friend, you guys can speculate and look at some of the shares here and make sure you guys grab a invite code. An invite code is kind of hard to come by right now, but I'll drop a link in this description below so you can check out the invite codes on friend room. And also if you guys have any, drop them in the comments in this YouTube video so other people can check it out as well. But just scroll through this and there are other people that are sharing different codes. Just grab one of these, sign up and check it out. Again, this is on Ethereum network, but gas fees are lower right now, so you can actually play around. So if you missed out on FriendTech, in my opinion, you may not want to miss out on FriendRoom. This could either do something or simply just go to zero. This is something that I looked at, I thought it was interesting, and I mean, dude, like listen to the vibes. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Tell me what you guys think of Friend Room. And if you guys got any of those Friend Room codes, drop them in the description below. I'm completely out, so I'm, I'm sorry. I got none. Um, they're all gone. Like, <laughs> they go that fast. But anyways, if you guys want to jump in the exclusive Discord, there's a link in the description below as well. If you guys want to join a private Discord group with a bunch of other DeFi DGens just like you. And I do produce exclusive content that I don't show on YouTube there. As always, guys, let's go ahead and hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're going to hit you guys with Proverbs chapter 15 verses... Let's do 10. Learn discipline awaits anyone who leaves the path. The one who hates correction will die. Be good, be righteous. Peace.